Hey yo, my name is Slim Bratsky. Today we're checking out the top 5 tech demos that I could find on the interwebs. They are all interactive in some way and downloadable, so if you want to tr try them out yourself, feel free to do it. However, we will be going through all the new ray tracing stuff, all the new RTX stuff, and some amazing physics. And I saved the best one for last, so watch until the end. Let's get this started. This is Apollo Control at 100. Okay guys, this is the first tech demo. It's called Apollo 11. It's actually a really old one. It's just to showcase the capabilities of the Unreal Engine 4. So let's rush through this one a little bit so we can get to the good stuff. Let's see what we can do with this one. It's grown quite quiet here in Mission So we can check out the wireframing. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. That looks insane. Everyone sit down. Color. Get prepared for events that are coming. And he closed with oh direct light so good luck to all of you mm, yeah only surfaces with uh, the direct the, uh, line of, uh, of sight uh, to boards. the actual oh, source have, of light uh, is going to be lit up everything else is going to be pitch be black that's what that is the, uh, this is the same progress. thing but with some color Among combined the important of those is one which will show the performance of the Onboard guidance systems, both the primary and the backup guidance systems. And here, here is the original one, the where every with the bit in the scene is tracking. has light bouncing off to now it, so it's not pitch black. The time this is all over, will look a good deal like a combination Christmas tree. And here we can change the camera, so we're in control of it now, and we can see some now pretty now cool photos and stuff, like photo-like-ish scenes. Seconds from but it's cooler to control the camera the yourself. Module. Columbia. We can change the exposure. The lunar module will come a little less than two minutes after that. At uh, the time rate, mm. we can we go up? It uh, should be at an altitude. Okay, we could go up a little bit. Miles, descending toward the fifty. Because now from we can change the position of the sun. The lunar surface will be this initiated. is such a powerful tool. You feel like freaking god yourself uh, when you do any this. Reason, the crew does not like the way I just think that's so cool. And this really shows how important the lighting is in games. Uh, See how the ground changes? The maneuver, they will remain this looks like absolute orbit, crap. Uh, but when you change the position of the light, uh, 60 miles by 50, it just feet. turns better and, and better uh, and better they until they you're be at the good spot where everything looks magnificent, descent, all because of the lighting. Uh, on a following revolution, so lighting the really is important. Four hours, 26 minutes. Voxels. Voxel colors. We are now coming up on 30 seconds to foliage of the command module. What a difference! So we'll stand by for uh, that event. So that that's the mechanic that makes the foliage look wrinkly. This is how it looks original, but with this thing on, it turns to this. Absolutely amazing. And we can chrome everything. And that's basically it for this tech demo. Let's move on to some better stuff. Okay guys, here we go, second tech demo. This one is called Justice. It's based from a, a super popular MMORPG. And this was uh, released exclusively in China in 2018, just to show off the awesome new RTX capabilities, which is these reflections that you are seeing on screen now. L let's turn them off, let's see the difference. Look at that! <laughs> oh snap, it's a whole different picture turning that on and off. Damn! Even the water reflections on the bridge change. That is freaking amazing. I love technology, I love graphics. Damn, I love checking these tech demos out. Look at the water, how boring is it now? And how awesome is it now? Mm -mm -mm. I'm changing in 3, 2, 1. Damn, look at the difference. Wowie, wowie, wow. That's amazing, that's amazing. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. The difference is insane. <laughs> Turning off. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm mind blown. That is so freaking cool. 
Damn, that is so cool. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, reflections. Another ray tracing tech demo showing off the reflections and all the technology surrounding that. So, look at the reflections, guys. Enjoy. Who's ever in charge of this place should be transferred to half. What? Whoops. I think the guy from the elevator is in charge in this place. Look at the reflections on the helmet, on the gear, on the stormtrooper stamp. Looks amazing. I can't do much in this tech demo, but it is running in real time. You think she heard us? <laughs> I think she heard us. At least we blend in for once. <gasps> okay, let's move on to the next guys. Okay, here we have it. The first physics-based tech demo. This one is to show off uh, mainly water, but other physics as well. But we start off with the water. So what we can do here is we can walk around. We can look at how the water is interacting with the balls. And when we walk here, you can see how the balls are actually following us. They're actually moving as a stream. Like I'm creating a stream as I'm walking by, by, by them in the water, which is absolutely freaking amazing. It is so cool. I can also use my mouse to do this. So let's do it at one of these piles of balls. That is so cool. You can see they're not just scattering. They're just not just exploding away. They're actually like I'm creating something with the water. Something is actually happening. They're just not scattering. They're actually moving along with the flow. That is so cool. So impressive. Impressive? Impressive. Uh, use X key to dash forward so we can double jump. We can dash forward. Let's see what's over here. We can also walk underwater, apparently. I saw some kind of ball over here, yeah. That ball is bouncing really good. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. I could just stare at this all freaking day. It looks amazing. So what is that burning thing? Let's look at that burning thing. Jump on the side, step on the main deck to start. Okay. Damn. That is so cool. Looks so freaking good. Holy macaroni. Looks amazing. Seriously, I could play in this all day. How does the grass move? can't really see yeah okay yeah it's definitely interacting with us it's hard to see but it is interacting with us okay so we can also change some stuff here let's see what does this one do changes the is that the position of the Sun where is the Sun can't see it yeah that has to be the position yeah there it is okay let's see Yep, we're changing the position of the sun, which is so freaking cool. We're like God here. Okay, so let's move the sun that way. Okay, what does this one do? Okay, so that's up and down. I'm guessing, yeah. Yep, up and down. So cool. Love being God. Love it. This is also running in Unreal 4, by the way. So just imagine what we can do with Unreal 5 in just a little bit. Oh, that changes the time of the day completely. Awesome. Awesome. I want to have it bright so I can see all the stuff. Okay, that's just zooming in and out. Okay, so we got some more scenes in this tech demo that we can check out. So let's move on to the next. A 
looks so freaking cool. I love it. I love it. I actually freaking love it. Look. Oh, that is so cool. I hope I'm not the only one enjoying this so freaking much. It is just so freaking cool. Okay, so this is a quiet beach. The one we were in before was very stormy. This is more quiet. Oh, we got a little box here. Can we do something with it? We can move it. Got some weight to it. But look at how the water is interacting with this box. So cool. So cool. Imagine what you can do with this water. Oh! Looks great. Okay, let's move on to the next scene. Coastline windy. Oh my god. Look at the balls. Look at the balls. <laughs> can I do something with the bigger balls? No. Oh, look at that little ball. Mm. I wonder, do we have anything over here? I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look. Okay, we fell through the map. That's not too good. Let's move on to the next one. Stormy. Yeah, this is the one we started in. Then we got foliage. Oh yeah, this is the grass physics. Look at how the grass is interacting with this uh, jet engine or whatever it is. It looks so freaking realistic. Not only is each grass individually moving underneath it, they're also moving up. Same as in the water, it's moving in a stream shape kind of thing. It's not just spreading around going in one path. They're actually interacting with the jet engine to make it look as realistic as possible. And it looks so damn cool. Can we change the time of day here? I think we can. We're changing the position of the moon at least. Let's move up. Jump up here. There we go. Yeah, we can. We can. Can we see it better now? I would all, almost say that we saw it better before. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. So cool. Okay, let's move on to the next. Driving fluid with particles. Ooh, what do we have here? Start at the first one. Kettle world space. Push the kettle using the pod. Okay. So I'm guessing each one of those Particles is interacting with the water. Yep. Each and every one. Jump into the kettle using the pawn. Stir the liquid with the mouse cursor. Oh, that looks cool. That looks so cool. Okay, let's stir it. Oh, look at how it's bouncing against the wall. It looks so freaking realistic. Damn, I want to zoom in. That's better. Oh my god, look at that. That is actually amazing. Looks so freaking realistic. Oh, I'm enjoying this. If you can't tell, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, cauldron world space. Push the cauldron using the pawn. Drag the smoke using the mouse cursor. <gasps> It actually has interactive smoke as well. That is so cool. Oh, I love interacted, interacting smoke. <gasps> that looks beautiful. What happens when we move it? Oh, that looks even more beautiful. Oh, wow. That is so freaking cool. That is so cool. More games need to implement this. More games definitely need to implement this. What happens if we jump through it? Yep, it interacts. It interacts. Oh. Why doesn't more games have this? Look how it's interacting with us. That is amazing. 
absolutely amazing. Look at this smoke. <laughs> Multiple systems combined. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. We need more interactive smoke in games. Oh my god, that is so cool. That is so freaking cool. It looks so simple, but so freaking good. Oh, wow. What is this? Flamethrower tur turret. Push the turret or the obstacle wall using the pawn. Two systems com composite. Four ninja actor rendering flames on a camera facing plane. Volume smoke actor rendering lit smoke driven by the same core sim. So I'm guessing the flames are interacting with this wall that is standing here. It's not just going through it. It's actually being stopped by the wall. And same with the smoke. This could be perfected a little bit more, but there is nothing coming through here whatsoever. It is being stopped by the wall. And imagine seeing this in games more. Absolutely amazing would it be. Because this looks freaking so cool. Okay, let's move the wall. Yeah, now the flame is totally different. Sag, I flipped the wall over. Let's see if we can move the turret closer to the wall. And we broke the turret as well. <laughs> Never mind, you can see that the, smoke, the, the fire and everything is reacting differently now that it's going upwards. Amazing. Okay, let's check out the last one. Intro. Okay, that was nothing. Okay, that was it for this one, guys. Let's move on to the final and coolest one. See you there. Here we go, guys. The Unreal 5 tech demo. The Market of Light. I can't wait to explore this tech demo. It is highly interactive. We will be in control of uh, the game. It, uh, it's actually a small little game, but it's a tech demo. So let's enjoy this, guys. But after this video, I do have a little bonus one for you. So stick around. Let's get this one started. I think we're going to be that little bug. Not sure though, but we're going to find out soon. Yeah, we are definitely this little bug. Wowie, 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 wow. This looks freaking stunning. Switch view. Oh, okay. I can have a first person view. If I didn't know better, I'd say this is a postcard. Ooh, look at those textures. Holy smokes, those textures were crystal clear. That is some high resolution textures. Look at the, all the, what the hell is it called, polygons? No, not polygons, all the stuff around the diamonds. Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Okay, collect white orbs. Roger, roger. I want to explore really badly, but I'm pretty sure that the tech demo is going to show us all the good stuff. So let's collect some crystals. Orbs. This thing is pretty hard to control, not gonna lie. Oh, look at how crystal clear all the textures are. Damn! That looks realistic. Wow! Okay. Get the red orb. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Holy sh... 
I have never seen something as realistic as this before. Never. Damn, look at that paprika. 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 Holy. Damn. If you can't tell, my mind is absolutely freaking blown right now. Don't know what they are called in English, but in Swedish they are called hallon. And these are some good looking freaking hallon. God damn. Wow. Are you guys seeing the same thing as I'm seeing right now? That is actually incredible. <laughs> and I'm amazed that my PC runs this so freaking well. Cranked up the resolution to max, and that was the only thing I could change in this tech demo, so... It looks amazing. Oh my, I can't wait to see what they're gonna show us next. Like this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. See that little orb up here? Very soothing, very calming. Very nice, very nice. Oh, look at the neon lights, the details. Wow. Wow, we, wow, we, wow, we, wow. Hello, little orb. I got you. I got you. <gasps> Look at the bounce. Look at the red. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, we're actually gonna look at some bread now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ooh, look at that wooden horse. Damn. This is amazing. I'm getting hungry now, guys. I'm getting really hungry. Mm -mm -mm, that looks delicious. Delicious and amazing. Even the freaking orb looks amazing. Damn. I'm sorry for this being a very odd video, but my mind just keeps on being blown every tech demo that we <laughs> play through. So I'm saying a lot of dams and holy, but bear with me guys, bear with me guys. Oh, we got some night time going on. We got some night time. Let's get it. Oh, I have to check out this neon now. I don't care that there's no orbs here. I have to check it out. We have to check one of the balconies out. That looks insanely good. Insanely good. Of course we can go in the balcony. I was almost doubting that we couldn't. Yeah, you can even see inside the windows. Crazy cool. Crazy cool. Oh, look at the freaking fountain. That looks gorgeous. Holy shit. detail on the ground sheesh not far from now games are gonna look better than reality I'm not kidding okay, where do we have any orbs look at the fountain mm -mm 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 -mm. oh there we have an orb And up on the balcony we have another one. Roger, roger. Hmm, flight tower, do you copy? We got another orb here on the balcony. Oh, are we going on the ground? We're going on the ground, guys. We're going into the sewers. Get the blue orb, gotcha, gotcha. On my way. Look at this vista, look at the view. I'm so glad that I live in the time that I live in. And you should be too. Great things are coming when it comes to games. 
Great things are coming when it comes to graphics and games. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, look, you can even even see the veins in the freaking leaf. Oh, wow. Amazing. I wish I knew all the technical terms for all the technology used in this, but I'm sorry guys, I don't. If you guys know more than I do, please drop a comment down below. Tell me, tell me, how is this even possible? How? This is amazing. And I'm so glad my PC is running this like a piece of cake. I do have a pretty powerful PC, so don't get me wrong. It is, it is a beast, but still we're, we're recording, we're playing this, damn. I did read that the Unreal Engine 5 is supposed to be able to show amazing graphics like this, but require very little power compared to what it's actually showing on screen. So I can't wait for the future when developers are really good at optimizing the engine, creating beautiful looking games, and we can still keep our PCs. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Head to the top of the fountain, okay? Showing off some lighting, lighting technologies, I'm guessing. Let's share this exciting feeling together. Mm -mm. Let's do it. You and me. That was awesome. That was awesome. Guys, as I said, I do have a little bonus for you. I will play it. It's gonna run in real time, but it's not interactive in any way. But it's from a game that I am super excited for. It's called Atomic Heart. So I'm gonna play it without the camera, so if you want to enjoy it, stick around and enjoy it. I will enjoy it, but without the camera. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep on staying freaking awesome.